Safari Club International Show 2014 in Las Vegas, Nevada, second floor of our wonderful booth. We're surrounded by amazing premium guns. One in particular was brought here by Clemente, who's the premium gun uh, manager for the United States. Clemente, thank you for joining us. Thank you. So you brought this uh, little piece of jewelry here that actually fires, and it's an SO10, am I correct? Absolutely, it's actually an SO10 WLL, so the highest grade of our uh, premium guns. And if uh, sticker shock is not an issue for most people, um, then that's the kind of gun that they should buy. How much is the starting price point for this? So uh, the price starts at about ninety, ninety-five thousand dollars but being a completely bespoke custom gun, it can range anywhere from uh, 150 to 200 to even $300,000 for a single gun. Wow. Okay, so the one question that I get asked most of the time is why 100,000, 90,000, 150,000, my gun that cost $1,500 shoots just the same. <laughs> okay, so guns, yes, you pull the trigger, it'll go bang, it'll shoot. What this has that is unique from other $1,500 guns is that this is art. It's not just a gun, it doesn't just go bang. First of all, the balance of this gun is fantastic. It'll pick up like a dream and you'll be able to shoot better than you've ever shot. Next is you have to consider this gun more like a fine watch as opposed to a gun. Yes, it'll function, but the main part that of course drives up the cost but also drives up the beauty is that this gun is completely hand engraved it has the highest quality wood you can think of as you can imagine uh, a gun like this uh, has around about 200 hours of engraving as standard in the, included in the starting price so the areas that make this a hundred thousand dollar gun starts with the material that are used obviously the wood that's been used is incredible they go to the materials that are used for the actual receiver. Uh, does the trigger mechanism, the locking mechanism, do they, are they all part of this equation? It's all very uh, complicated uh, piece of work because it is a side lock gun and being a side lock gun all the mechanism is mounted on the side plate. So you have your trigger guard, I'm sorry, your trigger springs and, tr and hammer and all the components are locked within this side plate and all of that has to then be inletted into the part of the wood and the wood has to be cut out to accommodate it. So it is all done by hand, by precision craftsmanship in Italy and they have to finally adjust every single part one by one. You talked about 200 hours of engraving time. That's not the only time that it takes to build a gun like this. How long does it take to complete a gun like this? So to give you a rough time frame, it takes a minimum of 12 months to, from date of order to actually receive a gun like this in the country. And the majority of the work is, apart from the four to five months that it takes to actually build the receiver, you have roughly six to eight weeks of just oil finishing on the wood, then you have two weeks of checkering, you have six plus months worth of engraving, so of course all that time adds up and they have to be done in steps. And we're not just talking about any gunsmith or any woodsmith being called off the line to say, hey make this gun, right? No, so we have two production facilities in Beretta, Beretta 1, Beretta 2 and Beretta Duo is where we make all of our custom premium firearms. So we have specialty workers that only work on SO guns day in and day out, and they're the only ones skilled enough to actually make these kind of guns. A barrel is a barrel is a barrel, everybody says, but I understand that the barrels that are in this type of gun are actually much uh, higher quality uh, and tensile strength than any barrel you would find even in entry-level price for Beretta guns. Absolutely, and I'd like to show you as well, because it is a visually appealing barrel. This is what we call a demi-block barrel. So what that means is that the chamber and the barrel in traditional guns is usually fused. The chamber is fused to the barrel generally, each tube, and then they're joined top and bottom barrel. With this, the chamber and the barrel all, is all formed by one piece of steel, which obviously means that the starting block of steel has to be larger to accommodate the larger width chamber. And 
it's also industrially a very difficult process to manufacture and only Beretta and a couple of select other bespoke uh, gun manufacturers can actually do this. One last question that I get all the time has to do with side plates. They're obviously great canvases for an engraver to work on, but they also serve a very, very specific purpose. And I understand that the SO10 is a specific uh, design for, for the side plates. Uh, and, and the way the uh, engraving works is actually functional, not just aesthetic. Absolutely. So with this particular platform, we've managed to be able to hide any kind of external screws and pins. And the way we've managed to do that is if you look very closely inside the receiver, you'll see that there are two outlines for where we have hidden screws. And the way to take those screws out, and I'll show you, is that you basically use a punch. Anything that is softer than steel will work because obviously you don't want to scratch this, uh, this receiver. That would be a costly mistake. A little bit. <laughs> so you have to punch through these little hinges and then the, the screw actually pops up and the engraving the way that it's done is that it's done while these screws are closed so the engraver doesn't have to worry about the lines and can actually by engraving a pattern or a design over it hides completely the lines so we got amazing barrels obviously we've been making barrels since 1526 wood that is hard to find anywhere, craftsmanship that takes a full year between engraving and actually manufacturing, materials that are a good bridge between the tradition that we carry and the innovation that we push, and then a mechanism that is second and not. I think altogether you've done a pretty good job of explaining why, you, yes, you can buy a $1,500 gun, but if you want the top of the top of the top, it's going to cost you around 100 grand. I think you've perfectly summarized it. Clementine, thank you so much. We'll see you again. You guys stay tuned. We'll have more coverage of uh, Safari Club International Show from Las Vegas. It's uh, everything so far. If you want to know more about uh, this gun or any, on, any other of our uh, premium guns, check us out at Beretta.com or on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Beretta USA. Or you can tweet me at Beretta underscore USA. We'll see you guys later.